Six years have passed since we last walked the bustling streets of Phnom Penh, Cambodia. A city once known for its historical charm is now also a canvas for modernity and grandeur. Today we are exploring two symbols of this transformation. First off, Panghut Euro Park and the Elysee, which reflect both the cultural heritage and the ambitious future of Cambodia. Our first destination is Ben Hood Europe Park. It's not just a residential area, it's a visionary project set over 3.11 hectares in the prestigious Grand Star Platinum District. This development is inspired by the diverse cultures and architectures of Europe, creating a unique destination right here in Phnom Penh. <laughs> Look, the boat! Hey, look here! Oh, boat! <laughs> Hopefully this loops around. Looks like it does move. Nice waterfall here. With fewer visitors during the weekdays, the experience becomes even more personal and immersive. Each corner of Euro Park tells a story, reflected through its Georgian, Victorian, Tuscan, and Venetian-inspired architectures. Iconic replicas such as the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben not only decorate the landscape, but also evoke the spirit of Europe. <laughs> Let's pause at the French Renaissance Bridge. Oh, that flag, huh? Yeah. Flag, huh? Mm -hmm. A masterpiece that offers not just a passage but a journey through time and artistry. The design philosophy here intertwines global aesthetics with local sensibilities, creating a space that both internationally appealing and intimately Cambodian. The Grand Hall. I'm 
nâng chân mua nâng chân đúc yep he almost fell off the, the stairs Martin There's a ride for the kids. Well, he wants to ride the elephants. He goes around the whole wedding hall for a dollar for five minutes. But, uh, yeah, they pretty much did this like Europe style. Like bridges and over. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hurry up. I'll be right back, babe. I'm sure I'll figure it out. No, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna run. I think you're being out, Lena. Oh, like it, like it. Ah, get it. Get it, Jack. Is it? So they just do a loop for a dollar. Yeah, originally it was gonna go around, take a loop. We'll see if I can, but right now I'm stuck with the, the little one here. <laughs> gonna be that simple. Yeah, my niece. She's only a month and a half, so. Give this a try. They went to the restroom, so I'm gonna try to get a quick run in. Try, it's a key word. All right, let's go. Join me as I run through this breathtaking local at dusk. The perfect time to enjoy its beauty and tranquility. It's like a very small loop. It's not really big at all. So I get done with this real quick. Just gotta avoid people because they're all over the place. But it's whatever. Hero Park isn't just about beautiful buildings. It's about building a beautiful community from retail shops offering the latest in fashion and home decor to education centers and beauty salons. This place caters to every facet of modern life. Go. 
definitely not going on that bridge. I went the wrong way, but it's whatever. people for days. The convention hall, a centerpiece of this development, serves as a versatile venue for everything from weddings to corporate events, symbolizing the community's cultural and social hub. So boy. Oh, the there. No, I already did.
Leaving the charming scenes of Europe Park behind, our journey takes us to the Elysee. A beacon of modernity and Colombian's urban expansion serves a short drive, we find another remarkable development. The Elysee by Guerra. Located in the vibrant French inspired suburban area of Diamond Island, or also known as Gothic, the Elysee draws its inspiration from majestic Arc de Triomphe. It's not just a resonant, it's a tribute to iconic Parisian style, surrounded by buildings that echo the town houses and boulevards of Paris itself. Concrete shop houses, bustling offices, and commercial spots line the streets, creating a mini Paris here in the heart of Cambodia. The ambience is unmistakably that of bustling European neighborhoods. For those who enjoy an active lifestyle, the Elysee offers a fantastic route for running with its scenic pathways and the backdrop of Parisian style architecture, making every job a picturesque experience. Moving back to the, the Elysee, this ultra modern complex stands as a testament to Pompeii's rapid development. With the state of the art facilities, the Elysee is crafted to redefine luxury and convenience in residential living. Both Ben Hood, the Euro Park, and the Alice exemplify a unique blend of innovation and tradition, representing the vibrant future of residential living in Phnom Penh, while paying homage to the rich culture and tapestry of Europe. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, moves won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow and I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes.
I'm not healed yet. I should go back. Just did two miles on 11 minute mile pace. I'm just trying to cool off like Europe. I mean, look at this. Hold on. Let me get a better angle. seven floors but uh yeah I'm burnt pretty bad only doing two miles on 11 mile pace 11 minute mile pace I really don't know how I'm gonna do a half marathon in June <laughs> it doesn't look good Getting old, guys. Getting old. <laughs> but um, Cambodia has changed a lot, man. I mean, it's uh, it's night and day compared to before. It's just different. But yeah, it's just a lot of tall buildings, a lot of places to go just chill and hang out uh, I don't know if it was shown on the clip but there was about a good consistent five runners that I kept running into um, maybe maybe they're training for the marathon I, I wish I could just go straight to the marathon and, and run it and give it a try but I think it's gonna be pretty difficult to do so um, even at half marathon, it's gonna be difficult, but I'm trying to stay positive. It's, this area is actually pretty nice to run. There's a wedding like down the alley. Um, that's why you hear all the music. My family right now, my in-laws, they're just chilling on the the mat, the katel. It's like a mat, and they're just chilling, eating some fruit and stuff. And um, yep, you know, you probably think I'm crazy, like running and stuff, but it was cool seeing other runners. As you guys saw, I try to use you guys as a pacer because <laughs> I'm just so out of it man yesterday it was you guys will see uh, my niece's birthday she just turned one month and one month and they they waited for us to come to Cambodia and sorry about that they waited for us to come to Cambodia and then they did the birthday uh, pretty much like a month and a half it was pretty cool um, it was like 13 bucks uh, for each person and then yeah let me check it let me make sure they're not they haven't left yet no they're still here um, yeah it's a lot louder here but um, bro, I'm just tired. So I really don't know or have anything planned as far as like fitness and run so and so miles. I'm just going along with it. You know, when it comes down to race day, I'll give it the best efforts as I can, but I don't want to injure myself. I've been, I haven't, I didn't feel any pain when I was running just now, so that's why I don't want to push it. Maybe I should lower like my pace, maybe keep it at a 13 minute mile pace, because at the end of the day, you know, you can always just push it during race day and stuff. So it's just one of those things where, um, yeah. So, but yeah, man, I'm out. I'm gonna catch up with my family.
As the sun sets over Phnom Penh, our journey through Phnom Hut, Europe Park, and the Alice Sea comes to an end. These landmarks are not just places of residence, but beacon of a new era in Cambodian development, reflecting a country that honors its past while boldly stepping into the future. From the serene pathways of Europe Park to the bustling corridors of Alice Sea, Phnom Penh continues to enchant us with dynamic blend of tradition and innovation. Join us next time as we uncover more hidden gems in this vibrant city, Phnom Penh. Thank you.